Some say that his ears aren't exactly where you'd expect them to be, and that once, preposterously, he had an affair with John Prescott. <laughs> All we know is he's called the Stig. <laughs> Away he goes, and this car really is under the shout of setting a new lap record here. This sound a bit like the Stig short shifting, but they have taken off the rev limit and he doesn't want to lunge the engine. First corner there. You see the back stepping out already, but he's on it in a moment. Do you have a map? Oh, now I should explain Stig's new in car entertainment. His language is for beginners, and this week it's Italian. He's holding that. Chicago, nicely done. Spit of flame. Here's the hammerhead. This could be where it all comes undone. No, no, he's holding on to that beautifully. Snap of Obi still on the way out. Now he can really open the taps. Un gelato, per favore. An ice cream, please. Okay. Over 800 horsepower charging up towards the tie wall. This should be quick. Come on, Stig, keep it on, keep it on. Oh, it's looking good. Two corners left. Don't throw it all away here, Stig. You got the Zonda to beat. Zonda's in sight. Only Gambon left. Hard on the brakes. Turn in. Flick of opposite lock and across the line. It has got the Zonda F to beat. That's 118.4. Got to know. Come on. And it did it in 120.4. Oh. Right down here. You see, you've got all that power, but, you know, you without the downforce, there it is. Do you know, CCX. That's the difference. Yeah. Okay, Correctly spelled. Yeah. Do you know, I think... The only time that Zonda F is going to get knocked off the board is when Bugatti finally let us put a Veyron round our track. You say that. But having posted this time, the Stig said, you know what? I reckon if I don't short shift and I'm a bit more brave in the corners, I reckon I can go faster than that. Who'd like to see that attempt? Yes, please. Yes. Play the tape. <laughs> right, he's off again, and this is the one, OK? OK, he's oh, into Chicago. He is really, really piling it on through there. Look at that. So beautifully controlled. Hammerhead. Feeling for grip. I'm going to say that does look faster. Now, go on, power. Go on, stay. Get on the power. 806 brake horsepower. Thundering down now. 130 miles an hour. He's lost the back. He's, he's lost it. He's on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's a big one. That is the first time the Stig's ever, ever been off this track. Here it is again in slow motion. You can see the back steps out, no downforce. He corrects it, but there just isn't enough track. And that's a big tyre wall he's been through there. God, that is a big accident. <laughs> that is a properly big accident. It's so... Look, it's eaten the tyre wall. <laughs> look, there's the advantage of carbon fibre for you. Hardly any damage at all. Yeah, and cheap to repair as well. Well, cheaper than chewing gum with nicotine in it, that's for sure. <laughs> Thing is, though, OK, after the accident, Stig said he reckons this car would be four seconds faster than it was if it had a big wing on the back. So, Koenigsegg have announced that they're going to take it back to Sweden, put a wing on it, then they're going to bring it back here to see what it can really do. That I want to see. So do I. Yeah. Some say he has a digital face and that if he felt like it, he could fire Alan Sugar. <laughs> All we know is, he's called the Stig. And he's off! Whoa, lots of wheel spin off the line there. That's not a particularly fast start as a result. OK, coming down to the uh, first corner, piling it in. Quite a bit of tyre squeal, bone dry track, but actually, look, very little drama. Un pezzo di quel formaggio. A piece of that cheese. Stig, of course, still learning Italian. Here he comes out of Chicago, a little. Ooh, a little wiggle of a hit on the way out. No real fuss, no drama again into Hammerhead. Perhaps things will get lively here. Will it wash wide? Nope. Tail's coming out a fraction, but the stick holds it there to the millimetre. Vogliamo visitare Pompeii. We want to visit Pompeii. Mr. Stig can already talk the language of animals. Only this morning he was chatting to Top Gear Dog, and funnily enough, they also share a water bowl. Oh, look at that! Seven litres of American friendly fire. Here he comes into the second to last corner, turns in hard. Little bit of correction into Gambon. This is a tricky one, flicking it a bit sideways and across the line. Well, hey. 
All right, very much so. Hang on. I doubt very much any of you will believe this. He did it in one 22.4. Now that, look, that is, here's the Ferrari 575 right down there, 126.8. It's, it's quicker than a Zonda. It's quicker than a Ferrari 430. That is an astonishing car. And he's off. Bucket loads of wheel spin off the line there. It's like an unleashed beast, this car. Up to the first corner. Now he's looking a bit snappy on the way in, but Stiggers wrestled it into submission. Punches smartly out the other side there. La toilette non funziona. The toilet doesn't work. Into Chicago now, nice and smooth on the way in. Entry speed judged to perfection. He's squeezing on the power, booting it out and letting the tail run wide. Hammerhead. If you haven't got the Z4 by the scruff here, it's all over the shot, but Stig's got that covered, removing all chance of understeer by firmly depressing his right hoof. Non parlo italiano. I don't speak Italian. So, four weeks on and apparently he hasn't absorbed a word. Now, down towards follow-through. Come on, Stig. Really let the monster loose here. Oh, that looked fast! Just two corners left. Hard on the brakes. Very neat through there. Only Gambon left to take. Here we go, he flicks it sideways and across the line. OK. In one minute, 26 exactly, which means it goes on the board, where is it? Just there, uh, which means it's actually faster than a Porsche Cayman, a Ferrari 575 and an Aston Martin Vanquish. See, told you, brilliant car. Whoops, spit of flame from the exhaust, and he's off. Oh, look at the car pitching on its suspension as the Stig slam homes another gear. Active diff is switched on here, of course. System can make any driver look like Michael Schumacher, although in Stig's case, that would make him look worse than he is. Look how neat he is getting out the first corner there. Dove posso comprare semaforo? Where can I buy traffic lights? Oh, he's locking up into Chicago. That gets the nose a bit wide. Then the computer shifts the torque around, drags everything back on track. Hammerhead, this is the real handling test. Subaru would wash wide, but the P2's brain shunts drive where it's needed, gets the tail working, punches him out the other side. It's porco. It's dirty. OK, down through, follow through. Don't think he's lifted at all. Stig and computers working together. Animal machine in perfect harmony. OK, he's turning in now, second to last corner. That's very tidy, coming up to Gambon. Kicking up dust like a rally car and across the line. Interesting, this. Now, now, when he did it, he did a lap in that, OK, without the diff turned on. He did a 129, which is sort of way down here somewhere, OK? But then, with the diff actually activated, he did it in one minute, 24.3. So, look, it's half a second quicker than an Evo um, 400. And the Evo has 60 more horsepower, and that's all down to the diff. Away he goes. Traction control off, of course, and that means acres of wheel spin, but it's the corners where this thing gets really hairy. First one now, loads of tyre squeal. Can you see it? Look, it's dragging wide, almost onto the grass there. Posso canito tiri? How much is the cheese? Ah, oh, now, the Stig's learning Greek this week. Here he is, look at the understeer. They're constantly slewing offline. He's off the track! That's a new one there. OK, into Hammerhead. This is the real understeer test. Surely the VXR will be dreadful. Yes, look, I mean, this is the Stig even. He's struggling to stop it, ploughing offline. Tires smoking with pain. Just missed that. Can I hire a car? If you hide one of these, I recommend you take it back and get a high and die. That's through follow through. Chance to use the Vectra's power now to claw back some time. Looking pretty brisk through the tyres. Two corners left, still wrestling every inch of the way. There's only so much even the Stig can do. Look at this. Here he is into Gambon, smoking off the tyres and across the line. and that phenomenal top speed, and it did it in one minute, 35.3. So it's... Oh. It's 
That's officially rubbish. And earlier on today, okay, we sent the Stig out in the other two cars, okay? Now, the Mondeo, which is there, was nearly a second faster, and the Mazda was three seconds faster. There you go, by the Mazda. Mm, not so sure. I think I'd still have the Ford, to be honest. I mean, I like the Mazda very much, but I don't know that I could live with that radiator grill. You're going to say you're not going to have the best car here because of the radiator grill. Yeah, no, it's like, you know, you meet the best girl you've ever met. She's charming, she's witty, she's funny, she's clever, she's pretty, but she's got a beard. <laughs> Some say that on really warm days, he sheds his skin like a snake. <laughs> and that for some reason, he's allergic to the Dutch. <laughs> All we know is, he's called the Stig. <laughs> He's off. Little plumes of tyre smoke there, but the four-wheel drive soon got that reined in. Now, here's the first corner. Look how keenly it turns in. And now he's back on the power. Listen to that. Is it dangerous? Stig's still learning Greek, it seems. And neat it is again through Chicago, just kicking the back out to give him the perfect line down to Hammerhead. That's where he is now. Will it understeer? Not a bit of it. Loads of grip and that V10 thunder. On a lovely drift on the way out. I've lost my purse. Follow through now. Oh, he's having to give it a flick of opposite lot now. Hammer down hard. That's very quick through the tyres. Two corners left. There he goes into that one. He's very committed through there. Hard on the brake, shoving it into Gambon. And across the line. Yes. It's in one minute, 25.7 seconds. So it's not what you'd call the fastest supercar in the world, but I have to say, it is my new favourite. And he's off, smoking the tyres, but then it soon digs in. Plenty of traction there as he blasts up towards the first corner. Here we go. Ooh, little correction on the way in, but he's holding it steady now, hard on the power to push him out the other side. <laughs> You have a beautiful home. Hasn't Steve mastered Greek yet? Well, he's certainly mastered Chicago, looking very neat. Now, kicking the tail wide. Ooh, very dramatic. Now, Hammerhead, expecting good things here. So much poise and grip with his car, flicking it right. Little bit of understeer, but he's on top of that, and that is beautifully done. Out the other side, whoa, Steve! Then, Echi, Harti Toiletas. There's no toilet paper. Now, really winding it up now for the follow-through. This car has more torque than previous Nobles in any gear. It just goes, and look at that! Very fast, two corners to go. Right on the edge here. Oh, just Gambon left now. Chucks it in. Oh, no, he's on the grass! And across the line. That looked great. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll see. It really did. It's so absolutely... Yeah, it did. Well... It did it in one minute, 20, 20. two. You're not going to be able to reach then. <laughs> point five, which oh is God. phenomenal. That puts That's it in there. Let me help right you. the way up there. So that is faster than a 430 Ferrari, faster than a Merchilago, faster than a standard Zonda.